Hello and welcome. This is Graham Roberts and we're going to be looking at how to get multiple panels to work in Java using NetBeans in particular as an IDE. Well we've we're starting here with nothing as it were in NetBeans and we're not going to use NetBeans auto layout feature the palette we're going to do this all as it were by hand the very first thing we need to do is actually start ourselves a project so I'm going to start a new project and the project Java application of course um, we're going to have to give it a name and I'm going to give it the name of multi panels and I'm going to um, create the main class as well so we'll just wait for a moment and that will make it all happen and there we are we've got multi panels we need to instantiate a form so we're going to say we want a J frame uh, we'll call it frame and we're going to have a new J frame so we're going to call the constructor for J frame over here it's complaining and what it actually says is it can't find J frame and so we're going to add an import for it I'll just get rid of this unnecessary comment and we want our multi panels to extend J frame so that is that we want to have J frame the superclass make multi panels its subclass now actually I want to have some panels and they're going to be called my panel because they're going to be my panels that I'm designing so these are going to be instance variables of this um, frame so we've got to actually create this class my panel let's see if NetBeans will help us if I click on here it says well create my panel in class multi panels I say yeah yeah I'll have that thank you and it's created it for me so now we've got a class my panel that we can exploit but a panel it's only a panel if it extends its superclass J panel and so that's what we're going to do here it doesn't know about J panel so we're going to import it I click on here and it says I can add the import and it does it for me now we are requiring a constructor here for the my panel so I'm going to copy one in here this constructor takes a width argument a height argument and a color argument that is for the background color this is going to be passed to it from the multi panels frame at the moment we are um, getting an error on dimension uh, that is really simply needs to be imported so we just click on there and add an import for that um, what's the error for color well it's the same thing it doesn't know about the color class so we import that and it is quite happy what this does is set the background to the parameter C and sets up a dimension variable of type dimension instantiates it with the width and height arguments that came in through the non-default constructor for the class my panel and then that dimension object is passed to the set preferred size method so we actually are sizing the panel and giving it some color 
we go to my panel or oh, sorry multi panels we can see that we need to do a bit more here we haven't got a constructor so we're going to write that here we're going to create a constructor and we're going to do some things that we need to do inside it so I'm going to paste these in for the sake of time but it was just here there we are now we're getting a lot of complaints from the compiler but um, that's okay for now well initially we're going to set a title then we're going to set resize ball to true because we want to be able to resize it and we're going to set the size to a 500 by 500 uh, pixels then these other settings are kind of automatically following oh, but I'll come back to that what's wrong with this let's have a look it wants to rename it to something else well the reason for that is because I've copied this from a previous program I've done and I can't use the same name very easily so I've changed the name to multi panels so I just changed this to uh, multi panels now the next error that we have is on panel north being set to a color if we click on here it will say add import for color which we do and they all disappear these errors and similarly border layout as a layout is not known so we are import that as well and all of our errors have gone so let's look at what we do here we set the size to 500 squared that is 500 pixels from left to right and 500 pixels top to bottom width and height then we instantiate panel north that we set up here with values for the width and the height and the color now we start off with 50 50 and the color is red the color has no real significance other than it's different to the other colors that follow and on the next one the east we do much the same but these numbers are set really so that they have to add up to 500 and 500 for the width and the height I'll show you that in a moment after this is been the dimensioning has been done here the panel that's in the frame as it were it has the layout applied of border layout and we set panel north to the north part of the border layout and center to the center and east to the east and west to the west and south to the south let's see how that looks when it's run when we try to run this we discover it doesn't work now the reason for this is we're actually setting up a new J frame down here but actually what we want to set up is a new multi-panel so what we do is the call of the constructor um, multi-panels which I'm keying in now so now we save that and then we run it and up it pops now here's where I want to show you what was going on with these numbers once we say that we want to have the size 500 wide then the south panel will be 500 wide and the north panel will be 500 wide and we can see that we've only got 50 here so we pop in to make it 500 and get that back 
again and we run that again. and there we have it so those two panels have to be 500 across what about the left panel well the left panel plus the north and the south their heights must all match to 500 really so the heights are the height of the north panel and the south panel that's 50 plus 50 is 100 well that leaves, leaves us with nine um, we need to have the um, panel that's on the west as 400 high because we've got 50 and 50 at either end to make the 500 that we set here so we make the east panel 400 high and the west panel 400 high and the center panel 400 pixels high and that's how those numbers are derived and as I hope you saw if you actually pick a number and it turns out when you have got something in front of you uh, to be wrong you can change it to get the um, dimensions correct another way you could do this is to draw a design and indicate uh, the dimensions on the paper if you change the size setting here of 500 to say a thousand and a thousand for the height then you'd go doubling more or less doubling everything here so they work out okay okay to summarize what we've done in these 12 minutes is to make a frame and to make a panel and to use the class that is a panel inside the frame that we made such that we provide a border layout to the frame and then place into its north, center, east, west and south parts the panels that we are instantiating those five panels are all based upon one my panel class which we see here when the width and height are sent they are used to create a new dimension for the panel and then the panel is sent to the receivers set preferred size method the background is set to the color C that's passed to it in this case of course the color is merely to indicate um, or make clearer what we are doing uh, with our program what kind of graphical user interface we are creating it's unlikely of course in your program you'll have all these garish colors and you may indeed not want panels to be seen particularly in a color you might want them to be um, literally in the background. So there we have multiple layers created using NetBeans in uh, under 15 minutes. In the next tutorial we're going to um, extend this idea of multiple panels by actually creating a panel as a class outside of the parent frame that is we're going to have a uh, five classes which are panels